I get asked by a lot of other IT administrators as well as consultants, what application is using the port that I'm trying to install a new application on? So for instance, if we go into a command prompt and we type in netstat minus an, and I'm gonna put in the uh, pipe command followed by more. So that way it doesn't scroll through many pages of ports. Hit enter. And here's my ports. Now, if I want to install an application and when I install that application, it says, hey, sorry, you can't do that. For instance, a lot of times we try to install Internet Information Services on Windows 10 or on a server, and it's already using port 80 on another application. And it could be that there's some other application that has its own built-in web browser that's using that. So that could cause a problem. So we need to find out what application is using that. Now, in my case, I'm going to do a different port because I have no idea what port is being used on port 88. So I need to find out the application that's using port 88. So I can either keep pressing the space bar until it gets to the bottom or just press control C and that gets rid of it a little bit more quickly. I'm going to clear my screen. I'm going to type netstat once again, but this time I'm going to do an AON instead of just an AN. And then I'm going to do the pipe command once again because we find out that is useful. And then I'm going to type in find str for find string. And I'm going to follow that up with my port 88, which in this case is TCP. I'll hit enter. Now it's scrolled down a little bit, but let's go back up to the top. And there it is. There's my TCP and it's port 88. And it's listening using the process ID of 712. So now I need to go into Task Manager, and this works on both Windows 10 and any Windows server. So I'm just going to go and right click on the task bar and choose Task Manager. And when that comes up, it's going to tell me what's using Process ID 712. I'm going to click on the Details tab and click the Process ID. And there's a unique ID for every application that's running. And now I scroll down, I look at 712, and it's lsas.exe. If I right click on LSAS, I can click on Go to Services, and whichever service is highlighted, that is what's using LSAS in this particular case, or whatever application you're using. And I can see in some cases it's going to be three different applications. So we can see EFS for encrypting file system, Kerberos, as well as CNG key isolation. And it is true, I did encrypt some files in a previous video using EFS, so it makes perfect sense that LSAS is using EFS. And it's listening on TCP port 88. So if I were to install another application that was going to use TCP port 88, which is unlikely, I would simply disable EFS, the EFS services, and then it would no longer be listening on port 88, and I could install that other application for which I wanted to install. So that's how we find out what application is using what port on Windows 10 as well as Windows Server.